My name is Brian Norton and I am chairperson of Bally Bay Development Association which as one of its projects we have the Bally Bay Wetlands Centre. It's a, basically a, an environmental educational centre and with a focus on education for people in environmental matters. Our, our origin started back about 10 years ago when the local community under the direction of the Bally Bay Development Association had the inspiration idea to purchase this what was at the time a working farm which consisted of 65 acres and a farmhouse. So with the aid of grants from IFI and different bodies they were able to purchase it. But then it became the task what are we going to do with it. They saw this sort of preserving some of these lands but had to come up with some idea how is it going to work as a, an ongoing project which looks after itself. So we came up with the idea of an, an educational environmental centre which would also act as a visitor centre where people could come, they could enjoy some of the lovely walks, enjoy the scenery and we had, would have facilities for people to have meetings, conventions and also be able to provide uh, catering facilities. So the work started we, the focus was obviously going to be on a green building which would sort of demonstrate what was available in the highest green energy saving standards. And this worked very successfully because after its completion we did win a national award for a green energy building about three years ago. The initial plan was that sort of school children of different levels would come, spend the day, have some tuition and projects perhaps that they could complete in order to teach them about the environment uh, and this has been successful to a certain level but with you know the economic recession not every school was in a position to perhaps to afford that. More recently we've changed our emphasis in that very fortunately we've been accredited with Discovery Primary Science uh, and this is a sort of project where Certain centres are accredited, which means schools who want to partake in Discovery Primary Science can actually come to our centre. We will have the facilities they need, we will have tutors to teach them. So looking forward, this is we see a major part of our work in the, in the coming years. Other things we want to sort of plan is sort of a, activities in sports. And in the last while we did run some courses in uh, kayaking, uh, which, which was very successful and come to good weather again we will look forward to having uh, activating this particular sport as well. Uh, we're very lucky that we have lovely scenery, we have what we call a floating pontoon which is a very unique experience where people can actually go out and walk on the water and this is very attractive to fishermen as well. So you know catering for fishermen, uh, picnics, family outings is what we're sort of uh, hoping to attract more people to. Another thing we're working on is this idea that it's sort of a, a centre where people come with some camper vans or perhaps uh, people enjoy tenting holidays. Because again we have the, the space here, the park and the environment and fortunately from the buildings we have we can also provide shower catering facilities. So it's these things the board and myself have been working very closely with and we have plans to sort of uh, expand on these and we look forward to seeing lots more people coming to visit us and experience the, the Bally Bay Wetlands Educational Environmental Centre.